Hello students, I am Salman from Optimum Educators. This is a demo of a CBSC chapter. Please don't forget to like our video, share our video and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notifications on the updates of different CBSC related chapters. And friends, you can buy a detailed explanation of all our chapters from our website www.optimumeducators.com and amazon.com and flipkart.com. Now let us go on to the demo of the chapter and for any queries you can comment in the comment box below. Thank you. Hello and welcome students. Welcome to Optimum Educators. I am Salman Petiwala, Professor at Optimum Educators and today we are going to discuss the demo of your chapter number 2, Acid, Bases and Salts. Guys, this is your second chapter of your CBSC science syllabus and this is one of the most important chapters of chemistry because from this chapter you will get knowledge about three things as mentioned in the name of the chapter. First, we will understand something related to acids, what reactions are going to take place in case of acids, then we will go on to bases, we will see the chemical equation and reactions, then finally we will discuss something about salts so that all your concepts regarding these three things acid, bases and salts are clear in your mind and once they are clear in your mind you can apply them in the examinations and get good marks in your board exams right. On that note let me tell you friends that in this chapter there are a lot of chemical equations as I mentioned. So, when I read chemical equation, I read a lot of attention and note it because chemical equations हमें याद रखने बहुत जरूरी है टू स्कोर फुल मार्क्स ओके ऑन दैट नोट लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू यू कैन बाय द फुल सिलेबस दिस इज जस्ट अ डेमो लेक्चर यू कैन बाय द फुल सिलेबस फ्रॉम द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो गो टू डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट ऑप्टिमम एडुकेटर्स डॉट कॉम और यू कैन इवन बाय अ प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट अमेजोन डॉट कॉम और फ्लिपकार्ट डॉट कॉम लेट स्टार्ट विद द डेमो ऑफ द चैप्टर सो फ्रेंड्स वट are the basic things or basics you should know about acids and bases. Salts pe baad mein jate. Let's first start with acids and bases. So, dosto, let me start with some examples of some acids. Let's start with the one. You know lemon, right? Nimbu, jo hum khane mein dalte hai. Lemon is an acid. Okay, let me list down few acids and few bases. Okay, lemon is an acid. Let me give you one more. Curd, dahi jo khate na, it's an acid. Okay, one more. Tamarind, imli, right? Khatti hoti hai, it's an acid. Now, let me te teach you some example of base. Ghar pe aapne, aapke aerial hoga ya tide hoga. Right, just say, kapde dhote, that is basically your washing soda. It's a base. Okay, one more baking soda. Now, I'm just writing the common names, chemical names will come later. But baking soda, jo breads me dala jata hai, taki breads fluffy bane, that baking soda is a base. Okay, so what are basically acids and what are basically base? So, some important property if you see about all these three acids. Can I say lemon curd and tamarind? All of them are basically sour in taste. Khatte hote. So the first property, very important property, acids are sour. Sour bhi kehte se in taste. If you talk about bases, washing soda and baking soda, or in general any base, it will be bitter in taste. Okay. So bases are bitter in taste. So, these are some examples I gave you for naturally occurring acids and bases. Now, those, so let us study some chemical based or is chapter mein jo chemical acids or chemical bases jo hai na, let's list them down. So, one very famous acid, come on, is HCl. Formula lik rao. HCl is what? Hydrochloric acid. Dekho, mein Formula bhi likh rao or name bhi de rao taki aap loko yaad ho jai. Tika? Kyuke textbook me 
every time it is not mentioned hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid textbooks just mention hcl you should know hcl is hydrochloric acid it is made up of hydrogen and chlorine right h for hydrogen cl for chlorine one very famous i can say acid is h2so4 h2so4 is sulfuric acid what is that sulfuric acid dusra naam iska iska common name to sulfuric acid hai chemical name is hydro uh, hydrogen sulfate what is the chemical name hydrogen sulfate let me write down one more hno3 this is also a very famous acid common name nitric acid nitrogen involve na nitric acid all of these three are guys very strong acids if you go to your chemistry lab in your school they'll definitely they'll have these acids stored in them and they'll definitely be stored in bottles that are lid okay carefully in a place kiya jata hai if they get dropped in some places they can burn people right agar use hath pe lag gaya na direct you can get a skin burn let's quickly write some basic examples i'll give you two examples the very important one naoh name is ka sodium hydroxide na stands for sodium oh is hydroxide ca oh twice ca calcium right so calcium hydroxide now after discussing our acids and base what are some acids and base guys the first important thing we need to understand in this chapter is indicators indicate what are indicators so indicators are something which change their color when they are present in either acids or when they are there whether they are present in a base so something i can say which changes color in acid or base and a very important indicator is which is used in the chemistry lab of your school is something called as litmus paper although there are many ones but the cheapest one and the easiest one is litmus paper now what exactly is litmus paper what are the types of litmus paper so basically there are two main types of litmus paper there is something called as red litmus paper and blue litmus paper i'll write by blue color only blue litmus paper now dosto understand the speciality of red litmus paper if i dip a red litmus paper into an acid red will remain red i'll write that down red litmus paper ko acid mein dalo red will remain red but if you dip red litmus paper in a base it will become blue so that i can explain you with the help of let's say this table let's say i have on this column acids i have on this column base so let's say i have a red litmus paper red litmus paper jiska color red hai agar use acid mein daloge so it will remain red it will what will happen to it remain red but if you dip the red litmus paper in a base then it will turn to blue color red changes to blue so i'll write red changes to blue now what exactly happens for a blue litmus paper try and understand so let's say i have a blue litmus paper so blue litmus paper guys let's start with the base blue litmus paper if you dip it in a base then it will remain blue remains blue but dhyan se suno agar blue litmus paper ko main acid mein dip karta hu blue litmus paper ko if i dip it up in an acid blue color will change to red so i'll just write blue changes to red that means what in general i'll say acid is something that makes the litmus paper red okay acid makes litmus paper red barabar litmus paper koi bhi dalo agar red raha to acid and blue lit i can say base is something that makes it blue okay so in general simple hai ki agar litmus paper red raha so it's an acid agar litmus paper blue ho gaya so it's a base quickly write down 
so acid speciality is red color right and if you dip it in a base then it will turn into blue okay so with this we try and understand how exactly you find something is an acid or not so for example main aapko ek flask mein kuch chemical do aur main aapko puchu ki batao ki acid or base to aap kaisa pata chaloge pata karoge kya usme ungli dubaoge nahi it is not advisable to dip your finger acid hoga to hath jal sakta right kaise pata karoge you can dip i can say litmus paper agar dip kiya red red hi reh gaya ya blue red ban gaya red ho gaya to wo acid hai aur blue ho gaya to wo base hai simple as that right so that's the story or basics we should know about acid bases then later on we can go on to salts and understand so now friends you have an idea of what exactly is an acid and what is exactly is a base and as i had said told to you earlier that chemical reactions are the most important part of the chapter let me discuss two very very important chemical reaction which you should keep in your mind always okay wo reaction ko apne dimag mein rakhna hai bhulna nahi hai इस रिएक्शन पे डेफिनेटली एक क्वेश्चन आता ही आता है एग्जाम में ओके ये दो रिएक्शन में से एक क्वेश्चन आता ही आता है इससे रिलेटेड या तो रिएक्शन पूछेंगे या तो देल आस्क अ थियरी क्वेश्चन ओके सो लेट्स स्टडी टू इंपॉर्टेंट रिएक्शंस सो द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन इज रिएक्शन ऑफ एन एसिड विद मेटल देर आर टू पार्ट इन द फर्स्ट वन रिएक्शन ऑफ एसिड विद मेटल and second part will be reaction of base with metal acid or base ka reaction metal ke sath padhna hai so first start with acid with metal okay so very simple reaction guys remember acid plus metal will give you salt i repeat again acid plus metal will give you salt and hydrogen gas will come out okay so i repeat this acid plus metal i repeat i'm re repeating again because this is very very important Give it, it will give you a salt plus hydrogen gas. Let me give you an example. Let's say एक acid जो मैंने आपको बताया था right? HCl सी एल वो ही ले लेते सो लेट से एच सी एल इज दैट एसिड मेटल देर कैन बी एनी मेटल लेट्स टेक सोडियम मेटल एन ए ओके सोडियम मेटल ले लेता हूं मैं सो एसिड प्लस मेटल विल गिव यू वॉट इट विल गिव यू अ सॉल्ट इन दिस केस Hydrogen will come out, right? So as I can just write down, hydrogen will come out. H two will come out, and you will get a salt from metal plus chlorine will give you NaCl, right? This is not a balanced reaction. You can balance this reaction. Or if balance करना है तो एक मिनट लगेगा मैं balance करके दे देता हूँ आपको. Okay. Now this is a balanced reaction, right? Okay. Fine. So as you saw, ये acid है, ये metal है. Sodium is a metal. We got a salt. Now, what is this NaCl? NaCl, जो हम खाने में नमक खाते हैं ना common salt, it is that sodium chloride, right? So this is an example, and hydrogen gas is coming out. Similar reaction will be reaction of base with metal. Same reaction, ditto. सिर्फ एसिड की जगह बेस लगाना है देखो ऊपर फॉर्मूला लिखा ना एसिड प्लस मेटल इज सॉल्ट प्लस हाइड्रोजन उसी तरह से बेस प्लस मेटल इज आल्सो सॉल्ट प्लस हाइड्रोजन लेट अस राइट दैट डाउन सो बेस प्लस मेटल इज आल्सो सॉल्ट प्लस हाइड्रोजन गैस ओके सो एग्जांपल ले लेते हैं लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एन ओके Let's take some metal. Okay, so let's take a metal zinc here. NaOH is your base. Zinc is a metal, right? You know that. So it will give you a salt called Na2ZnO2, and it will liberate H2 gas, hydrogen gas. Now, what is this? What what is this salt? पहले वाले केस में तो बड़ा सिंपल सॉल्ट आया था. So, so I can say sodium chloride. ये थोड़ा सा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सॉल्ट है. इसका नाम मैं आपके लिए लिख देता हूँ. This is called sodium zincate. What is it called? It is called sodium zincate. Okay, fine. But it is a salt. The basic reaction remains the same. So we understood out here reaction of acid and base with metal. Okay. Now comes the most important reaction. Reaction of acid and base with itself. When two 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 one another react, okay. Up till now, we have studied acid and base differently. Now, when acid and base are mixed, what will happen? 
वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन मैं यहां लिखता हूं एग्जाम में वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पूछते ही पूछते क्वेश्चन इस पे रिएक्शन ऑफ एसिड एंड बेस सो रिमेंबर वेन यू रियक्ट एसिड एंड बेस यू विल गेट सॉल्ट एंड वॉटर रिपीट एसिड प्लस बेस विल गिव यू सॉल्ट प्लस वॉटर लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल टू एक्सप्लेन यू दैट सो एसिड अभी अभी जो पड़ा एच सी एल ले लेते बेस अभी अभी जो देखा एनओ एच ले लेते सो वॉट विल इट गिव यू इट विल गिव यू ऑफकोर्स वॉटर वॉटर विल बी एच टू ओ यू नो दैट वॉट विल बी द सॉल्ट सो रिमेंबर फॉर सॉल्ट एन ए एंड सी एल विल कंबाइंड एंड इट विल गिव यू एन ए सी एल राइट सो दिस इज दॉल्ट सो एसिड प्लस बेस विल गिव यू सॉल्ट एंड वॉटर दे आर ऑल एग्जाम्पल्स वन बिलो दी आर ओके सो वेन एवर आई टीच यू केमिकल रिएक्शन आई ऑलवेज गिव यू द इक्वेशन रिएक्शन के साथ में एग्जाम्पल्स भी दे रहा हूं ताकि हम अपने डेली लाइफ से उसे लिंक कर सके और NaCl तो सबको पता है राइट इट्स अ कॉमन सॉल्ट रोज खाने में नमक खाते हैं इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सॉल्ट एंड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केमिकल ओके सो विद दिस गाइज द डेमो ऑफ द चैप्टर इज ओवर इफ यू लाइक आस प्लीज लाइक आर वीडियो शेयर आर वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड फॉर एनी क्वेरीज प्लीज डू कमेंट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स बिलो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग